here. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when future videos are out. And topic of this video is my account, my RP Comics, was hacked on last Thursday, March 28, 2024. The channel, all the contents were removed. There was a TOS violation and the channel was gone. It's locked out. And the Gmail, the hacker had replaced the recovery options, the phone number, and the email, so I couldn't access the Gmail. And your Gmail is connected to your YouTube. If you cannot access Gmail, you cannot have YouTube. So I'm just gonna talk about it, what's going on, you know? And sure, I've had computer troubles in the past, but never like this. It all started a few weeks ago with uh, an email from my page about my YouTube channel and wanting to sponsor like a video game. Everything sounded legit. You know, you can tell like when the sender has a weird address or they don't, or the English is not proper. You know, something is up. This was all legit. Seemed clean, negotiated a deal. And that was gonna be it. Gonna get paid. For some reason I got sold to $100. I didn't even put the amount. I just said whatever you think is best. And then the material what they did was they sent a PDF. The PDF has a link. You click the link to download the zip file. And it had uh, some promotional images, a few videos, and like the YouTube contract and unboxing with an EXE, you know, like other material in it. And already I know that's suspicious, but it passed the malware check that I had and the antivirus. Nothing showed up. When I clicked it, nothing happened. So of course I click it two or three more times, you know, whatever, the program doesn't work. So hours later, you know, I go out, I come back hours later, okay? And I hope the audio is okay, by the way, it's pretty far from the camera. I, uh, I go back to my laptop, which I'm using, blue screen doesn't load something is wrong never happened before not in this and it's a pretty new one I only bought it last year why do I got the blue screen the whole thing is crashed I'm trying to recovery options and I didn't want to do the last two I was trying to do everything else you either do a full reinstall which you lose everything or you do a, a partial reinstall where they keep the personal stuff, but all of the new programs, or whatever you add it, get reset to the factory level. I went with that, and thankfully, the personal stuff, all of that was fine. And the programs, they gave me a list of what they took out. And I already got most of it back. You have downloaded it online, programs I already had. But I was concerned about that. What I did also, by the way, was I freed up room in a hard disk drive, and I dumped, I dumped everything from the C contents, anything valuable or personal, I dumped it on the C hard drive, from that C hard drive to a backup uh, external drive. So in case anything happens to the C drive, I kept the data. So I thought that was bad enough to have to do a partial reboot, and I didn't know why it happened at first. I was going to download Chrome, and they do through the cloud, because I did that before, where you download Chrome, the data gets transferred from whatever you had before previously. I can't access my Gmail. Well, the recovery wasn't working. And what was suspicious was, you're supposed to get a text, and I wasn't getting a text for the code. My phone number ends in 5 -0. You know, they always give a hint. My phone number ends in 5 -0. The digits were 1-5. That's not my number, 1-5. I knew I was hacked then. I checked YouTube, and sure enough, the page is gone. I saw one thing I said, TOS, you can't find it. You do a Google search or a YouTube search, some of your videos should pop up under your name. Nothing popped up. So I knew it was gone, and I knew it was trouble. And what had happened is, this is from other stuff I was reading after during the weekend. If you hit a, that file, the program robs you 
of your security, your two points of verification, and whatever else. One of the things I did after that was a lot of stuff is tied to Gmail, which I'll talk on. I took everything out, any like accounts, YouTube, Walmart, Target, any, any relevant accounts that mattered, I transferred it to a, a Yahoo address I have. I'll talk about that in a second. So the account's hacked, and this is bad. Person tried to hack Facebook, Facebook immediately shut it down as soon as there was like one thing the person did, locked it out, locked my account, and it was very easy to recover. Facebook knew it was me, and brought my account back. I had to just make a minor change or two. Facebook was more on the ball in terms of hackers. I mean, they immediately shut it down, and I'll give them credit for that. And it was very easy to recover Facebook. And you know, I'm doing all the research. It's almost impossible to recover a YouTube. I got lucky because if you cannot get into your Gmail, which is the big one, if they change the face, if they change the password, if they change the uh, the login, your phone, and you have no way to get in, you're probably going to lose it all because you cannot get in. Because you get a runaround, it sends you to this and to that, back to the password always. And if you can't get in, what are you going to do? You can't do much. So what happened is, there's a Team YouTube, it's official, a Team YouTube on Twitter. And I'll probably leave the description if I got the names wrong, what I'm talking about here, which helped to bring up an email, kind of like a, to go to a website, email to contact like the YouTube specialists or whatever. You open another Gmail, another Gmail that's not related, because again, you don't want anything related. I opened that, another Gmail account, to do the communication. Relevant stuff you'll need is when did you start your channel? If you go to Social Blade, Dot com, it will tell you data and when you started your channel. You want to know your IP address, which is pretty easy to figure out. The IP address where you usually do your work. What devices you use, your laptop, your tablet, whatever, to access your accounts, your location, uh, what your channel is about, if you could remember your last video or something about it. These are all details you need for the recovery. And the description of what happened. Plus, I almost deleted the emails from the scammer because I was angry. It's good I didn't because I used that screenshot as evidence as well as the URL link to the download page as evidence. I gave him the, the URL links. So it all helped my case. And then I got the Gmail back. They sent me a recovery thing. I got the Gmail. I was happy. Got it all back. Then I said, what about the YouTube? And they sent the YouTube, right? I saw the page, but there were no videos. And I got like, I got disappointed. Like, you know, what's the purpose? If I, if I can't get the videos, it's like you might as well start a new channel. Or it was very, it was just like disappointing. And then I checked a few hours later, because they said give it 48 hours when I heard a reply. And I saw the videos pop up, thankfully. They were put on private, and I get it. I just put it back to visible. And the scammer, he put playlists, and he changed artwork, and he opened a third channel. Got rid of my channel, made his own channel on my account, had the live stream videos and artwork, nothing I did. Just put it all up there. I erased it all, I cleared it out, and if you're looking, I put new all work. Started fresh. And thankfully, I just got the videos back, man. It's just the most thankful part that I got it back. About the only thing that went away was the playlists, which I'm making anyway. I'll fix that up later. And that was the only thing. I, I replaced the artwork. That was gone. I put my own up. Uh, but I, I got to give credit to YouTube and the Team YouTube, the the link I got the messaging uh, it was good because
because there is no live person to call, unfortunately. And it is very hard to recover. Because I read the stories, it is very hard. So the real bottom line is you do not want to lose your account. Update your emails, especially your Gmail. One thing I learned is hackers want to get to your Gmail because they want to use either AdSense or YouTube, especially streaming or other Google devices. So they're trying to get your Gmail for other reasons. And if you have valuable stuff there, you're going to lose it. It's going to be very hard to do whatever. One thing I did is I removed valuable stuff and put those directs to a Yahoo account I have, or if you open a Proton Mail or something. Because why is someone going to hack a, a Yahoo or a Proton Mail? What do they get for it? They don't get much. But if you have a Gmail, they want to access it so they get the other stuff from you. This person wanted the YouTube, wanted the live streaming, and they wanted to sell crypto scam stuff. I noticed because I, I researched what other people went through, similar stuff, that's what they were doing. They don't give a darn about you, they just want to take over the channel. And it was funny, when I was doing the permissions and stuff, one of the persons was a moderator or whatever, that wasn't me, because I've never had a moderator or whatever, and I deleted that person and the thing. A lot of talk, thanks for watching, but I'm just, man, I was just so disappointed. I was just so like, never had that type of trouble before. But if someone would do something like that, I, if someone took over the Gmail or did something or other, but just to delete your YouTube channel on purpose, it was a total like hijacking and you don't wanna lose it, you know? One thing I did also was I got a notebook and I put down all the logins and I changed all my passwords, not only to secure it from that hacker if they ever got any other data, I put these long passwords that even I can't remember, right? Just very complicated, uppercase, lowercase, symbols, all of this stuff. So it'd be very hard for anything in the future. Use, make sure you have the backups in there, the backup addresses, any of the other backups that you could get. That's it, you know? Funny enough though, I had a, uh, I still have it even though I don't use it. When I started, it was called Rob's World TV originally. I changed it to Robert Chronicles. If you type it in, it's very hard to see any videos. I got less than a hundred. I haven't updated it in years, but that channel was not affected. Either the person didn't notice or didn't care, but thankfully that channel, the Robert Chronicles one, was never affected. And, but I couldn't access it anyway. But I just use that because sometimes I watch YouTube videos under a different account. I just had it so long, I might as well keep it, even though it's not active. But I might make that a gameplay channel, where I just game just for the heck of it. Not for any AdSense or anything, but just to post up some, if it's not comic book related games. If it's comic book related, I might put it on my RP Comics channel. And finally, I don't know, when I was doing the search, RP Comics actually shows up on some minor other websites of people who use that name for their own stuff, not involving me at all. So I'm wondering if I should use my middle name and change it to RFP Comics. So let me know if you want that. Or if I should change it to RFP, let's say, Publishing. So one thing I want to do was get some public domain comics and make what some others have done is to sell some public domain comics in a package like soft cover books where it's print on demand and Amazon. And you know, just stuff I like and stuff to share. I like some of that stuff. And also personally because I want to read a physical copy rather than just digital, which I could. I just want something physical. So I've been thinking about that, you know, it's just a project I had, which I want to get around to, hopefully. Or if I get to write some, like, pulpy books, print-on-demand. I was thinking about that, you know, like my character, 
my uh, mascot character. I was going to put him into some pulpy uh, type crime stories on Amazon for like books and eventually a comic book, maybe, if I could. So, it's just some random thoughts. I might change it to RFP Comics or uh, RFP Publishing. Anyway, so that's it. That's my story. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, my friends, and I'll talk to you later.